Hi, welcome back Welcome to the channel. As some of you guys may know, I have a new YouTube channel called Card Kage where I do card game related stuff. There will be a card top right hand corner as well as there's a giveaway still going on. Um, there will be a link to that in the description below. Um, feel free to check that out. It's a giveaway for a Tinocon digital pack. It's going on still as of recording this video. But let's go with another week and another weekly reset. Another week, another weekly reset. Wow, I messed up my own thing. Wow. So, you know what? Let's just get into Nightwave first. There will be time codes in the description as usual, but without further ado, Nightwave! Okay, so let's see. Pick up eight rare mods. Now, you can just do this while playing the game. It's, um, yeah, just play the game while you're doing other ones. You can get it, but if you really want to complete it quickly, you could fight Void, you could um, do the Index because they only drop rare mods. The thing to you could do it real quick. Like capture, um, complete three capture missions, or rather capture uh, enemy boss dude three times. So just complete three capture missions. Don't know why I said it weird. Complete three spy missions. Um, polarize a weapon, companion, or warframe. Basically just put a former in a weapon, a warframe, or a companion not in the simulacrum because apparently there was some way to cheese the simulacrum back in the day. So. They made it so it doesn't count in the simulacrum, unfortunately. Um, I say unfortunately because I don't know the cheat, so I just straight up lost the former by forming it in the simulacrum. Anyway, moving on. Unlock three relics, pretty straightforward. You can actually probably do that and this, or that and this, technically. Um, then we have kill 1,000 enemies on the steel path. You get the steel path by unlocking every node in the star chart. That's how you unlock the steel path. And convert 10, wait, convert 10 slivers into a ribbon mod. Is that a new one? Is that a new one? Is that a new one? There will be a card top right hand corner to how to get, um, you know, ribbon slivers and whatnot. And how to turn them in as well. So yeah, let's check out the credit offering, shall we? Okay, these are not really that good at mods. This does not work on the Eidolon. Um, let's see. See, if you want them for collection, fine. I guess this would be the best out of the mix. Uh, the odds. Let's see. And then we have alternate helmet and different skins for the weapon. That skin actually is pretty cool, if I'm being honest. Then we have these, okay? This is how you get Vauban. Or can Cadillac or can Reactor be the fully built? Nineteen, you know, Kuba, this. Now, Wolf Beacons. This is how you get the Wolf Sledgehammer, okay? If you were wondering how you get the Wolf Sledgehammer, this is how you get it. It's a very low drop chance from the Wolf of Saturn 6. And the only way to fight the wolf is with a wolf beacon. So you can get a bunch of these if you have spare credit. Um, and I, or if you want to, you know, prank your friends or something, you know, just like 
bring a wolf into the mission because he actually is pretty tanky so yeah yeah you could just troll a bunch of your friends or something ah <laughs> uh, forget i said that um dark dagger blueprint glaive emissary ornament and a decoration trap thingy and without further ado, let's see what Tessian has for the week. Okay, he has a former bundle, which is good. Okay, I gotta pick up this, and I might actually, you know, do some farming so I can get the still essence I need for the former bundle. Because former is good, okay? Former is good trust me that someone who ran out of former in the past and you know as you can see i only have 12 former and i i only have 12 former blueprint as well <sighs> yeah okay well it's a whole thing with me but you know what with that said i am going to end the video here and hopefully you guys found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. And I will catch you guys in the future. Later.